why do you think it's important to encourage this? Because a lot of people would say, actually, it's a, an unappealing character trait for people to brag. Well, when we talk about bragging, I mean in the good way, of course. I don't mean obnoxious or self-aggrandizing or boastful or boring. I mean really being able to be proud of yourself and to talk about your successes and the obstacles you've overcome in a very pithy and conversational way. But the difficulty is, is a fine balancing act, isn't there, between doing that, between women sort of pushing their achievements and everything, but at the same time, society can be very down on women that they see are too pushy or too bossy. They can, and it can be a real backlash for women. And, you know, we're taught through our society and our culture to really nurture other people, to support and cheerlead and promote others rather than ourselves. So when we try to do it or look at doing it, it becomes something that we really stay away from. And um, we're afraid of people not liking us, of them thinking that, um, oh, this, this girl's too big for her britches. And instead, you know, the economics are such that we really must do it. Okay, well, Peggy, thanks for explaining that to us. That's Peggy Klaus from San Francisco. She set up these bragging classes, but we're joined now by the Apprentice winner, Dr. Leah Totten. So we'll get your reaction on that. What do you think about this whole idea then of having bragging classes essentially for girls so that they can talk about their achievements more? Yeah, I think, I think it's an interesting concept. Um, I think definitely there is a gender divide in, in terms of how forthcoming you, know, you are with your achievements. Even looking at my experience in The Apprentice, I mean, certainly in the early days, the guys were a lot more vocal um, about their capabilities than the, most of the female candidates. But I think really the important thing is, is the personality of the person and, and how well they can deliver. And I think in the end that, that does shine through. So for your experience of the working environment, because this is what the fear is, isn't it? That women who don't shout about themselves and their achievements enough in the workplace are, are falling behind and being overlooked because the men are actually you know banging their own drum and saying this is what we're good at and that that means that the girls are at a disadvantage yeah I mean I think there is definitely a balance I think there is a difference about being you know confident in your abilities and in you know what you can achieve and deliver and and in being boastful and I, I think it's really about about getting that balance I mean again in The Apprentice I was fairly quiet up and up until the point where I felt I have to now you know, speak up and, and demonstrate that I, you know, I do believe in myself and, and I can deliver. And I think it really, um, irrespective of the gender, is about striking that balance. Mm. And what do you think it's down to then? Why is it that, uh, you know, females find it harder to talk about what they do with confidence as opposed to, I mean, it's a bit of a generalisation, but, you know, as opposed to men who seem happier to be able to do that? I think there are social norms, cultural norms. I think they all definitely play a part. I think, um, you know, Peggy's elicited to there. The media um, is sometimes slightly more damning um, of females when they come forward and, and appear to be very, you know, boastful almost about their achievements. And, and definitely, you know, there is a societal um, role for women that doesn't always project them in, you know, in a leadership capacity. And I think gradually that is something that we're, we're overcoming. But certainly in the business environment, which I'm now in, um, you know, the majority of the leadership roles, you know, are, are still held by men and, and that is something that we are challenging I think will continue to develop in the in the coming years. Okay.